That's me, Sable. You're probably wondering why I'm bathing in the blood of my enemies. Beauty house. 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 Hello, I'm Sable, native New Yorker and beauty editor here at Allure. There's a lot of stuff I've tried in the name of beauty, including chemically burning my scalp to be blonde, chasing myself in the face in the name of skincare, and I'm pretty sure I've tried creams that cost more than my rent. So today I'm trying something I haven't tried before. I will be immersing myself in a tub of red wine. I heard that Cleopatra would bathe in goat's milk, so naturally the question would be, how do I beat that at her bath game? There's a spa in Tribeca, the air ancient bath, that offers a red wine treatment. It's literally a bath in red wine. So I'm gonna go do this thing, and then we're gonna come back and check in with some experts to figure out what the dermatological benefits are of taking a bath in red wine. So let's go. Okay. So I am about to take a red wine bath, which is probably as weird as it sounds, but I don't know, fuck it, why not? It's gonna be cheese, grapes, resveratrol, 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 resveratrol. Gonna go with resveratrol. Who knows, maybe I'll get skin drunk. Actually, I feel a bit like a baguette. Is there alcohol in here? That's good. <laughs> Isn't it weird to be like, hey grapes, this is you. This feels very eyes wide shut. <laughs> so that was an experience, feeling pretty flushed. As nice as that felt, I have no idea what I actually did. So I have expert dermatologist here, Dr. Sherry Marchbein. Hi. Hi. Who can tell me what red wine does for your skin? <laughs> well, the question is drinking it or bathing in it? We know that drinking it's really good for us. Bathing in it, we don't have as great of evidence to support that. Right. Although we have really good evidence for is sort of the grape seed oil that is used ah. afterwards. So usually they do when, massage, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. so usually when you get a red wine bath, they'll use grape seed oil afterwards because the, the skin from the grapes mm -hmm. and the seeds are very, very rich in antioxidants called polyphenols. So that's great for the skin. Okay. And it helps free radical damage. Oh. Um, and so soaking in it can feel really mm -hmm. good for you. It can feel good and relaxing, oh, yes, which is right. always good for the body. It's great. Um, but it's the grape seed oil at the end that can be very helpful and can help with if you use it for a long time, fine lines, wrinkles, oh. sunspots. Oh. So it's more of like using it over the long term rather than in just one you know, treatment. Right. I was wondering, is it possible to get skin drunk if they didn't? Um, so I think that skin drunk is not something that typically happens. In fact, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> like drunk through, I don't know. So one of the main points that the spa made about the benefits of red wine was that it has resveratrol. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me just a bit about that? Totally, so that polyphenol that we were talking about earlier, mm -hmm. the main one that is sort of the most well-known in red wine is resveratrol. Got it. Resveratrol you can find in various foods. So oh. wine, grapes, cocoa, chocolate, blueberries, pomegranates, tons of things that we already eat. So you're probably getting a lot of it in what you're consuming already. And you didn't even know it. Ha uh -huh. Well, since drinking it is so good, I'll just oh, have well. a... <laughs> I need oh. that for something. So now that we are covered with skin info, I have my friend Brian here, who is a sommelier, and he can tell me whatever there is to know about wine. Awesome. This wine. So it's from Spain. I would say it's probably Tempranillo. Yes, um, it is a Tempranillo grape. That is what the spa told me. It says it has a fragrant nose of cedar, no. tobacco. If I imagine really hard, maybe. Something called spice box. Spice box. Spice, you get a lot of spice box in there? It looks to me a little bit um, light in color for what I was expecting to come out of this bottle. Should we try it? Yeah, let's do it, man. Cool.
Hmm. 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 Thoughts? I got a lot of thoughts. That's uh, not what I was expecting. <laughs> it's definitely like n not alcoholic. Right, it's yeah. It's definitely um, no not t really tannic either, like mm. you would think from Tempranillo. It's definitely a lot lighter. You can tell it's made from grapes, you know? Yep. It has grape stuff. Any but, notes stick out to you? Yeah, I mean, it's it tastes a little like funky, a little bit um, salty, but not in a way that like wines grown by the ocean are salty. It, it's just funky. It's just. It might have been because I took a bath in it. You took a bath in this actual wine. Yeah. The wine that's in this cup. It's my bath water. Oh, fuck. <coughs> Disgusting. Wait. <laughs> I think he's mad at me. Resveratrol is an antioxidant that uh, you can eat it, you can drink it, you can apply it topically. Good way to keep your skin looking glowy, get that nice grape glow. Like all beauty things, you have to just keep at it to see results, but 30 years, you will look back at this video and thank me. Hmm, salty.